اليوم راح نبدي محاضرات الفسلجة الخاصة بالأسبوع الثالث من الهيماتولوجي يونت which is concerned about the blood coagulation and hemostasis طبعا راح أجزء المحاضرة المحاضرتين إلى أكثر من جزء لأنه أشرح أكثر لأن شوية يعني يمكن موضوع الفسلجة فيما يخص ال blood coagulation and hemostasis نوعا ما موضوع يحتاج شرح مطول وكل الشرح تحتاجوه in order to understand the lab of the week and the coagulation defects or disorders that are, you are going to take also in this week قبل ما أبدأ بالمحاضرة طلاب إحنا نفتهم لازم نفهم إنه في جسم الإنسان <coughs> the blood is in state of uh, balance between substances that favors coagulation and substances that inhibit coagulation لأنني أحتاج بجسمي إنه normally I should have blood in a fluidic state يمشي بشكل سائل خلال الأوعية الدموية على مود ما يسبب التخثرات ما يسبب الانسدادات بالأوعية الدموية ويعيق تدفق أو وصول الدم إلى مكانات الجسم المختلفة بس بنفس الوقت once I have an injury to the blood vessels من يصير عندي cut جرح أو injury to the blood vessels I should have a very rapid and an efficient mechanism to make sure that the thrombus or a clot is going to form at this site in a very short period of time to prevent excessive blood loss. This balance between factors that favor coagulation and factors that inhibit coagulation is what we call the hemostatic system or the hemostasis. It consists of five major components. First of all, the blood vessels. When I say blood vessel, I mean by it the endothelial lining of the blood vessel, mainly. Second part, the platelets. Third part, the coagulation factors that form what we know as the coagulation system. Rabi'an, coagulation inhibitors, they will act little balancing mechanism preventing excessive coagulation outside the area of the injury. And finally, I will have the fibrinolytic system scavenger. Once I have a clot and I have healed blood vessels are healing and the opening is sealed then I will have the fibrinolytic system trying to remove whatever digested uh, fibrin that's present in the area. So these are the five major components that work together, one with each other, to uh, provide the balanced hemostatic system. Let's start with the blood vessels. Now, what's the role of the blood vessels in the state of normal, without having an injury in the blood vessels, يعني بالحالة الاعتيادية؟ شي سوي لي البلاد فاسلز شلون يساهم في عملية منع التخثر and when I have a cut in the blood vessels what is the role of the blood vessel when I have a cut in the blood vessels I will have immediately vasoconstriction of the injured vessel طبعا هذا الرفلكس منطقي لأنه من راح يصير عندي vasospasm or vasoconstriction I'm going to decrease the amount of blood lost from the blood vessel and this and this response is very rapid and it is responsible for the initial slowing of the blood flow to the injured area the more severely the vessel is affected the greater is the degree of the spasm it can last minute or even up to hours giving time for the other components of the hemostatic system to act and form the blood clot. Normally, as I the blood vessel injured, we are talking about the normal state. Normally, if I'm having an intact endothelial cells, lining the blood vessels, they should have a powerful inhibitory effect on the platelet aggregation. 
and on the hemostasis as a whole. In fact, some of these substances are prostacycline and uh, nitric oxide. Both of them are potent vasodilators. Potent vasodilators. And they are both inhibitors for platelet plugging and aggregation. They prevent the platelets from coming and adhering to the wall of the intact endothelial cells. If the nidani ma and the injury blood vessels, the endothelial cells are going to produce substances, methyl minu, prostacycline, uh, nitric oxide, shrah sawilabel substances, they are going to cause vasodilation and they are going to inhibit platelet aggregation, making sure the blood is going to flow smoothly through the blood vessel. Now, what happens if I having if I'm having injury to the blood vessel? Once I have an injury to the blood vessels, I'm going to lose the continuity of the endothelial cells. endothelial اللي هي smooth lining of the blood vessels شو راح يصير عندي من أفقد هذا الطبقة I will have exposure of the sub-endothelial materials اللي هي عادة تكون مخفية ومعزولة عن الدم بطبقة الاندوثيليال Many of these substances that are going to be exposed following injury they are potent uh, stimulators for platelets and potent stimulators for the coagulation system على سبيل المثال I will have exposure of the subendothelial collagen collagen we have uh, platelets they have receptors for collagen so we'll come and attach to it I will have exposure of tissue factor tissue factor once it is exposed it's going to what it's going to attach uh, to factor 7 one of the coagulation factors of the coagulation system and the complex is going to be active in initiation of the coagulation cascade even the initiation of the coagulation cascade is how it's by the exposure of tissue factor exposure of tissue factor through damaged endothelial cells and the exposure of the subendothelial شي يصير بعد عندي؟ اكو عندي substances that are stored inside the endothelial cells. من راح يصير بها injury؟ they are going to get out of the cell. So I will have release and increase in the concentration of von Willebrand factor. شو راح يسوي ال von Willebrand factor؟ طبعا هذا ال factor is very very important in the coagulation system. يشتغل بمكانه. واحدة من المكانات اللي يشتغل بيها it will help binding of platelets to the subendothelial يعني يشجع the adherence of the platelets to the injured blood vessels المكان الثاني يشتغل بي it acts as a carrier and a protector of factor 8 which is the key and the most important coagulation factor so I will have release and increase in the local concentration of von Willebrand factor and von Willebrand factor has two important functions in the hemostatic system جزو من عنده favors adhesion of the platelet to subendothelia and also it acts as a carrier and protector of factor 8 in the plasma so it has very important role in the hemostatic system Also, the endothelial cells, they, are, they produce tissue plasminogen activators. طبعا, uh, this is the activator of plasminogen, which is the key enzyme of the fibrinotic system. Okay, so it has a role also in controlling the fibrinotic system. It will produce also antithrombin, which is one of the major natural anticoagulants produced by the endothelial cells. Injury to the endothelial cells will cause expression of surface uh, p-selectin that also 
enhance platelet uh, recruitment or استدعاءها or or جمعها to the site of the blood vessel injury. خلنا نرجع نراجعها على السريع. <coughs> Normally, the blood vessels, the intact endothelial cells lining the blood vessels, they have a powerful inhibitory effect on the process of hemostasis. How? By producing substances, and the most important of those substances are the prostacycline and the nitric oxide. They will cause vasodilation, and they will inhibit adhesion and aggregation of the platelets to the blood vessel wall. This is happens when I'm having intact endothelium. If I'm having an injured blood vessels, I will have at first an immediate vasoconstriction of the injured blood vessel. ومثل ما قلنا هذا ال 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 reflex the spasm راح يكون protective mechanism trying to decrease the amount of blood lost from the body. يطي وقت إلى أن تجي the platelets to seal the area of injury. It will last minutes to hours. And the more severely the blood vessel is injured, the more severely the spasm is. If I'm having an injured to the endothelium, then I will have exposure of the substances that are present in the subendothelium. One of these substances, many of these substances, collagen. Exposure of the collagen will cause platelet adhesion to the subendothelium. Injury to the endothelia will cause exposure of tissue factor, and the tissue factor will bind to factor 7 of the coagulation cascade and initiate the process of coagulation. Injury to the endothelium will cause release and increase in the concentration of von Willebrand factor. Von Willebrand factor has two important functions in the hemostatic system. First, it favors or acts as little mercy, the change the adhesion of the platelets to the subendothelium. And second thing, it acts as a protector and a carrier of factor eight in the plasma. The subendothelium will also produce tissue plasminogen activator. اللي هو مسؤول عن تحفيز البلازمينوجين اللي هو the major enzyme of the fibrinolytic system. Also, the subendothelial the endothelial cells will produce antithrombin, and the antithrombin is one of the major anticoagulants. Plus, the expression of surface basal lectin that causes recruitment of platelets. هذا اللي حكينا كان the role of the blood vessels. In an intact state and in an injured state to the hemostatic system. Now we come to the other component of the hemostatic system, which are the platelets. Now, what are the platelets? They are not cells. حقيقة هي مو خلايا. They are fragments of the cytoplasm of megakaryocytes. Megakaryocytes are the big cells. That reside inside the bone marrow, موجودة داخل النخاع العظم, and the cytoplasm fragments and get outside of the bone marrow to the bloodstream as platelets. Now, what's the major regulator of platelet production? مثل ما أنا عندي erythropoietin for the red blood cells, I have thrombopoietin for the platelets. But unlike the erythropoietin, اللي تسعين بالمية راح يكون produced by the kidney. Thrombopoietin is mainly produced by the liver. So liver disease in this case is going to cause, uh, if, if I'm having decrease in the thrombopoietin production, this will cause a reduction in the number of platelets. We had a few people who had chronic liver disease and uh, cirrhosis or fibrosis of the liver. They have a low platelet count. The normal lifespan of platelets is 7 to 10 days. It's short compared to the red blood cells. They are very small in size, discoid in shape, with a, with a volume of 7 to 11 femtoliter.
The membrane of the platelet consists of phosph like, like any cell membrane, phospholipids, cholesterol, and glycoproteins with a microtubule beneath the plasma membrane. The important portion of the platelet for its function is the presence of the surface glycoproteins. Hakikatan al adhesion uh, to the subendothelium and the attachment uh, to the fibrinogen all is carried through the glycoproteins. Nafs al waqat al phospholipid surface is also important for the uh, procoagulant function of the platelets, which we will see later on. Now, what are the glycoproteins that are pro uh, present on the membrane of the platelets? We will see that they are for the adhesion to the subendothelium and for the uh, function of the platelets. We have different uh, and many glycoproteins. We will focus on the most important diseases that we have. We have glycoprotein 1B, which is important for binding to von Willebrand factor and to the vascular subendothelium. Even by binding to von Willebrand factor, we will be able to merge the subendothelium. I will have adhesion of the platelet to the area of the vessel injury. I have glycoprotein 1A, 2A, and glycoprotein 4. All of them are needed for adhesion to the collagen, subendothelial collagen. And we have glycoprotein 2B, 3A. This is essential for interaction with fibrinogen. The fibrinogen is going to act like a glue, مثل الصمغ. It will bind platelets together in the process of aggregation. اللي راح نحكي عليها من راح نأخذ بالتفاصيل the process of uh, platelet function. So I have glycoprotein 1B, اللي يكون important for binding with uh, von Willebrand factor. اللي حيكون مثل الجسر اللي يربط بين the platelets وبين the subendothelium. I have glycoprotein 1A, uh, 2A, and 4. They are important for adhesion to the collagen. I have glycoprotein 2B, 3A. They are important for interaction with fibrinogen that acts as a glue binding the platelets together. Inside the cytoplasm of platelet, we have granules and we can classify them into three types of granules. We have the alpha granules. طبعا هاي بيها كل الأشياء المخزونة المهمة والأساسية for the function of platelets. يعني بيها الفابرينوجين, von Willebrand factor. طبعا ال von Willebrand factor هو موجود بالاندوثيليا وموجود also inside the alpha granules of platelet. بيها beta thromboglobulin, platelet derived growth factors, and so many substances are stored inside the alpha granules. اللي هي the most numerous granules inside the platelets. We have the dense granules. It can add to the equal from the alpha granules. Hi, for example, let's call them the energy sources. They contain ATP, ADP, and calcium. And we have lysosomes that contain the enzymes. Now, after we know the structure of platelets. عرفنا ال half life مالتها وشكلها وتصنيعها والregulator of its production. How the platelets perform its function, or what's the mechanism of platelet plug formation? نقدر نتخيلها مثل the steps واحدة تجي بعد الثانية. إحنا قلنا صار عندنا injury to the blood vessels, and I have exposure of the subendothelium. Substances طلعت لي من subendothelium. That will favor adherence. إذا أول شيء راح يصير عندي platelet adhesion. The platelets flowing in the blood are will recognize the area of the injury and they come to adhere to that area, forming a monolayer over the exposed subendothelium. How? By interaction of their surface glycoproteins with the exposed material. مثل ما قلنا glycoprotein 1B with von Willebrand factor. Glycoprotein 1A or 2A with collagen. إلى أن أصير عندي a monolayer of platelets adhered 
to the exposed subendothelium. This is the initial step and this is a very critical step. Now, the next step, those platelets, once they adhere, they are going to be activated. They will release any substance that is stored inside them, specifically what's stored inside the alpha granules and the dense granules. يعني راح تطلع لنا كل الفون وربراند فاكتور ثرومبوغلوبيلين and uh, whatever is stored inside the alpha granules plus the ATP uh, the calcium all will be released to the outside then more and more platelets are going to culminate to the area راح تجي تتجمع بمكان مات الانجري and they start to produce what we call an aggregate of platelets من اللي يساعدني بهاي الحالة binding of glycoprotein 2 uh, B and 3A to the fibrinogen مثل ما قلنا acting as a glue favoring a platelet aggregate formation إذا هسا صار عندي an aggregate of platelets at the site of the blood vessel injury. This aggregate of platelets, it's not solid. زين. Uh, it's not strong enough to uh, to stay in its place. ما تقدر تبقى فترة طويلة محافظة على مكانها تحتاج إلى فد شيء يقويها. يعززها شنو هذا الشيء راح يجي يقويها ويعززها it is the fibrin that's created through coagulation pathway then شنو علاقة البليتلت بالcoagulation pathway تذكروا من قلنا احنا البليتلت نتكونها من phospholipid surface and glycoproteins نتركوا من الphospholipid surface of the platelets is important for the coagulation system شلون the interactions of the coagulation cascade or the coagulation pathway takes place where over the phospholipid surface of the platelets over the phospholipid surface of the platelets لهذا اكو عندنا certain types of diseases when they have uh, antibodies directed to the phospholipid surface of the platelets they will inhibit the process of coagulation اللي حصير على surface مال platelets ويسوي لي ممكن abnormalities in the platelet function نرجع نراجع ال steps once again <clears throat> when I'm having injury to the endothelium and the exposure of the subendothelium the first reaction of platelets is adhesion the platelets are going to adhere forming a monolayer over the exposed subendothelium how they will adhere by the interaction of the surface glycoproteins with the exposed materials for example glycoprotein 1b with von Willebrand factor glycoprotein 2b with fibrinogen 1a 2a with collagen so eventually i will have a monolayer of platelets over the exposed subendothelium what am i sir and the adhesion the platelets are going to become activated and they will secrete whatever is stored in their granules they will uh, they will release uh, von Willebrand factor, cola, uh, uh, thrombogl beta thromboglobulin, uh, platelet drug growth factors, and uh, even they will in this step there will be uh, prostaglandin synthesis that leads to formation of thromboxane A2. More and more platelets are going to accumulate in the area and leads to the formation of platelet aggregation through the interactions of glycoprotein 2b 3a with Fabrinogy. So I will have a platelet mass or aggregate at the site of endothelial injury. Finally, the phospholipid surface of the platelets will form a place where the reactions of the coagulation cascade 
takes place on it بالحقيقة مو كل ال reactions but the key reactions اللي راح نحكي عليها بعدين اللي هي the one that generates factor 10 and the one that generates factor 2 the active forms is that the key important two steps in the coagulation system will take place where over the surface of platelets هذا الفيجر راح يلخص لنا the three steps adhesion of the platelets through the exposed collagen and von Willebrand factor and then shape change and disc elaspherical with the release of their contents serotonin, ADP, platelet activated factor, thromboxin A2 كلها راح تطلع على الاريا وتسوي لي activation more and more platelets accumulating forming a platelet aggregate at the site of the injury لحد الان blood vessel uh, function and the platelet function this is what we call primary hemostasis primary hemostasis لحد الان ما تدخل العدنا الكوغيليشن سيستم the primary hemostasis will result in formation of plug or aggregate of platelet at the site of the vessel wall injury هاي طبعا it's enough to seal small uh, holes in the blood vessels but not for big cuts we need something to make it more solid and more firm and this comes through fibrin, which is generated by the coagulation system. Many it's on the fibrin, which is in the middle meshwork, entrapping the platelets. Nana rahisal hemostasis semi secondary hemostasis. So, I'm going to the primary hemostasis and the secondary hemostasis because the primary hemostasis will give me different clinical features from the secondary hemostasis when you have a defect in the blood vessels when you have a defect in the platelets mainly the patient is coming uh, is coming suffering from skin bleeding spots purpura ecchymotic spots uh, petechi while when patients they have injury uh, or defect in the coagulation uh, system in the secondary hemostasis they have different uh, manifestations usually they don't have petechiae and purpura they usually have large hematomas uh, heme arthrosis heme peritoneum and whatever ليش لانه هو عنده ما يكفي من الميكانيزم to stop the small uh, skin uh, blood vessel bleeding but not when you have an injury to the uh, for example, in the joint or uh, hematuria or uh, whatever uh, inside the body.